Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I want to do something real fast here. This is going on uh, Facebook, and we'll put it on YouTube as well because I don't really care. Uh, I'm so over this. I'm so over all of this crap that's going on. Well, last night, uh, Kayla's, Kayla Zar, my good buddy, Kevin Kravitz, had his um, show on the Public Access Channel. He was back on there. They were offering me to do my show because Public Access was back. And I declined because it's not the same as it what once was getting on camera back in the day. So they went ahead because um, the guy that runs the boards there is good friends with Kevin. And Kevin got the opportunity to do his own show, The Cavalcade of Fun. So that was good. He had his own cast and crew there. And I appeared last night on his last show in the block. And uh, for the very five minutes or whatever. So I told him I would do it and whatnot. Um, public access is, well, I mean, it's still going, believe it or not. And I'm shocked that the station, well, not the station, well, yeah, the station is um, doing it. I just don't like the setup of it being in the library. I don't like the setup of where it's at in the library because it is anybody and everybody can get into the damn place. It's not a closed set, and I'm we're used to doing it in a closed set. I don't have to uh, get into what happened in 2019 whatever happened in 2019 or whatever, um, I had promised that that would have not have happened and it wasn't going to happen. But it doesn't matter because I'm not foreseeing myself doing it again. And it's not by anybody's decision. It's my decision because I don't like the fact that it's an open studio. I don't like the fact that's open studio. But um, Kevin, you know, does Kevin want to do it? So he did it. He took the reins for the year. As they're starting back up because uh, they were closed down for two years because of COVID. And I went in there at the last show to support Kevin and Vince, Vinnie Mac, and myself. And um, Kevin's uh, Kevin's friend, Mary Elizabeth. Mary Elizabeth also. So that was good. I want to get away from all of this crap. I wanted to talk about... Um, what I have to be thankful for. Um, there's a lot of things that people could be worse off than what we, what you are, what we are. On Thanksgiving is a time to reflect on what you have to be thankful for. Well, I'm thankful for being able to air, breathe for the first part. Being able to breathe the air that I breathe. And um, I'm also thankful for being able to keep my wits about me. And I am thankful for a lot of things. I have a lot of things to be thankful for. And I plan to have this year, next year, this year, about at this time, next year, I will be more, be, have more things to be thankful for. A whole lot more things to be thankful for. Um, there are a lot of things that happen and a lot of things that make us grow as a person. Trials and tribulations that do happen, they teach us a lesson. It teaches a life lesson. And the life lesson, it teaches us to be able to grow, be able to become better, and be aware of things around you. So I'm aware of my surroundings and I'm aware of things around me. And it tells you to be aware of things around you. And then, so therefore I am. Um, I want to get back into a lot of things I want to get back into. I've just been so busy trying to get certain things done. What do I do with the website? The website, I haven't even had the chance to sit down to figure out, but I plan to get that website up, get that website up, and get that website up before 
the holidays is what I'm planning on doing over before the uh, Christmas holidays. So I've got another month to get that done. That's the plan is to get that done. And doing a movie, maybe perhaps doing a movie, getting certain things done and getting things back into where they were. I am um, very being very aggressive now in trying to get uh, to get myself back into the, the fighting form I used to be, the fighting form, or getting back into the shape, the mean, lean shape that I used to be in at uh, 235 soaking wet, 235 to, yeah, it's probably way where I need to be at. So I'm working on that. And Rome was not built in a day, but Rome was not even built in a day, and it took the Lord seven days to make the world. So I want to say that um, I have a lot to be thankful for. Good friends and people that uh, people that are very uh, engaging and people that are very helpful. And meditation. Meditation clears the mind. Sitting back and uh, relaxing, being able to meditate. Listening to some good music and meditating also clears the mind. And being able to be thankful again for things that are good things that you're to be thankful for. Be thankful that I'm alive. Be thankful that I do have people that, that are friends that I consider to be friends. Uh, be thankful for um, being able to do things that uh, that some people might not be able to. And being thankful for trying to make every day count and being thankful for having the, the positive things I have and um, being thankful that I can sit back and, you know, read a book that I wrote. What ca What's causing all this, that book, is the proudest thing that I've got going for me right now. And uh, I'm proud to get that book in Barnes & Noble. We're going to do some, um, I've got a, per a person that's going to re-edit the book. And we don't have to do much with it, just re-edit it. And then try to ship it off for me into Barnes & Noble and retail outlets. Plan to have that done that way. So... It's a work in progress, but the book has been done, and the book has been done, and it's a great book. If people want to know anything about me, they can uh, know that. Now, I want to say something. Um, I don't want to talk about these bitches anymore. I don't want to talk about these bitches. Um, but I did something to clarify this channel and to make this make it clear that I have ownership. I didn't have to do it. But I did. People questioned that uh, a certain person wants to say that uh, he has trademark. Well, you don't have trademark to a name. My legal name, full legal name, is attached to this channel. Did have to do that because I've had ownership throughout this channel. And... Uh, I could always get it reverted. It was any question about me uh, with ha putting stuff up on this channel. I could always get it reverted because of the fact that I've used the name. But I don't. Rather than going through any more uh, malarkey or bullshit, I just simply put the last name, my last name, on the channel, and the middle finger goes up, saying, "You know, f you." To the person that has the trademark, supposedly, F you, because you can't steal or have ownership to my name. So, that's pretty much what I did. I want to address something else, too. Um, there are some, se uh, some severe consequences with my social being dropped all over the internet. And this is going to be uh, dealt with and has been dealt with. And uh, I have a person that's helping me 
and we're going to take care of the situation. The person that put the social security number number up originally, that person might be doing some prison. And I don't mean, you know, I mean pure, I mean prison time, because that is a federal offense. Bar, bar, you know, that is the federal offense by doing that. Other than that, uh, it doesn't really matter because I am going to do more stuff. Kevin and I and Watt are going to be very vocal. And we spoke to Vince last night, and there's no hard feelings between me and Vince. Um, we just, I don't know. Um, there's no hard there's no hard feelings between me and Vince. Just a misunderst a few misunderstandings. Vince wanted to uh, market himself and put himself out there with doing free shows, and uh, you know, looks like Kevin did. Kevin did his show, so nothing to be upset about. They have the right to do what they do, and Vince has a right to do his stuff as well. Um, so Vince can do his show, and then you know, like Kevin did his show. Um, but I don't know if I was to ask if I would ever go back and do the Gorgeous George show back on that public access channel, I would probably say not 27 years, 26 years. How man, it's been a long time, 26 years of doing it on that channel, 28 years in total, including the two years of COVID. Um, it's been a it's been a long ride, and I have a legacy. I have something to hang my hat on. Longevity, well, longevity most most certainly. So now um, we'll still do the gorgeous George show, but probably not. Will it ever be on public access again? I'm not going to say not, but I am not going to. It's my decision whether I do, and. If I do, then it'll be my decision. But right at this pleasant time, I'm not foreseeing the way they've got it set up about going back on there doing the Gorgeous George show on the public access channel. But who's to say, who's to say what? But the Gorgeous George show still is a show when we, and Kevin and I get together. Uh, when we do when we do skits, same preface of what we used to do, what, what we used to do with the skits, and uh, me singing. I mean, if you look at the channel now, it's well, of course, other than me going off on these on these imbeciles, uh, it's a lot of music and a lot of singing, and I plan to do a lot more of that where that came from, a lot of singing, something that I enjoy doing, but. Anyway, so it's Thanksgiving. Happy gobble, gobble, gobble. Happy Turkey Day. And people out there, be thankful for what you have. Be thankful for being able to live and breathe. It's better than the alternative. And be thankful for what you got. Because a lot of people out there are less less unfortunate, less misfortunate. Mis They're not as, as, as you know, unfortunate as... One a people that do have, and even though even though that people might not have everything, even though there's certain things people have, the one thing you have is your foundation, and one thing I can say that I have that keeps me going is the it is the will and the foundation to be back to where I was, and um, I have every plans, every every depth of what I plan on doing is to get back on top. And um, it's baby steps. Again, Rome was not built in a day. It took seven days for the Lord to make the world. So we know this. We strive. We, we do what we can. We make it happen. And um, I'm, ha I'm, I'm happy. And I will be happy. I continue to, continue to be happy and to do what I need to do to get myself back. That's that's the bottom line. Uh, so, all right. I'm just coming out. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all the people on Facebook land and YouTube. 
and uh, the middle finger to all the haters, the middle finger to the haters out there. But I don't have to. I don't have to say that because they know how I feel. But to the people that are lurkers that maybe are supportive of what I've done or what I do, thank you, and uh, we'll be we'll be uh, very thankful for your support once we get uh, stuff going on. And if you want to contribute, or if you want to make donations to me for the work that I've done throughout the ages, I'm not going to turn any money down. I don't ask for money, but I'm not going to turn down any support, any money. Uh, we just need to get the Patreon stuff working. We'll get it all together. And we need to get uh, other things working together. But at the end of the day, once the website once the website is out and about, people will all see it, also see another foundation, another landmark and legacy of the true nuts and bolts tied in with that book. And promoting the hell out of that book. Because the book is on Amazon. The book can be purchased on Amazon. And I advise everybody to do so. That haven't haven't read it. And even if you have uh, read the distorted or the distorted um, unrevised edition. I suggest purchasing the book and reading the edition right now, reading the true edition that has been published on Amazon and published self, uh, self, um, self-published by yours truly. All right, folks, uh, happy Turkey day. And you ain't seen nothing yet. More to come. Gorgeous George show. Gorgeous George show is still on and we'll be doing more shows throughout. Got maybe some, uh, other stuff happening and more stuff happening coming out. Uh, predominantly most stuff will be on Facebook, but we'll put a few stuff like we're doing on YouTube. I want to, I want to eventually get off of YouTube altogether and try to get, uh, unlimited bandwidth, which I don't, I know that is possible, but you know, it's going to cost a lot of money to do it, but get, get the gorgeous George show website, the gorgeous George show website to hold all of the videos and whether it's through YouTube, then then so be it. But what I, I want to kind of gradually get off of YouTube. I don't want to get it on a, you know, get it out there for people to see. All right, here we go. It's Gorgeous George. And by the way, how about them Cowboys? How about them Cowboys? I tell you what, great, great win against the Vikings. What can I say? All right, folks, uh, happy Thanksgiving and eat that turkey.